Good morning, brothers and sisters from PPCC. I thank God, I thank Pastor KK for the opportunity to share God's goodness upon my life during this season of pandemic. I was an APEC director for a construction company that builds factories for the companies that manufacture those microchips in your Apple and Android devices. When news of the COVID-19 pandemic came in January, my travel plans have all come to a halt. It didn't take very much uh, longer before the company gave the mandate for all staff to start working from home. Having been giving talks all around APEC, that resulted in me having to start rewriting my job scope and doing things like reviewing some of the leadership culture strategies and training materials. Honestly, compared to what I had to do before that, this kind of provided me quite a fair bit of extra time. Um, in, in one of the regular check-in calls that I had with the uh, Pastor Joshua, I told him about this newly found extra time that I had, and I was available to do some work for the church. This call came not too many weeks later when Pastor Josh asked if I could help lead the charge for the online FFM work. It was a great opportunity to be working with our church brethren and those from GIBC and other churches to reach out to the foreign friends. Beyond English, what we have provided is a much needed friendship that was so precious to both the teachers and the students many of whom we still keep in contact to date. Fast forward to 18th June evening, when I received a call from the HR director informing me that the VP wanted to see me and I was to report to work at noon the next day. When I asked why I did not receive this call from the VP himself when he had my contact number, in a most colloquial language, the HR director, who was my friend, told me, Come in here tomorrow and then we talk more. So you can imagine the voices that were running in my head that evening. On 19th December, the day that Singapore entered into phase two lifting of the circuit breaker, I went back to the office to speak to the VP. I was simply told, James, long story short, we are letting you go. It's got very little to do with COVID. It's solely for business reasons. And HR also informed me that, do what you need to do, James. Your account will be freezed by 5 p.m. today. Although I saw that coming from the phone call the night before, it took a while for me to come to the reality of making the stats of one in four Singaporeans who will lose their job during this period. I tried to say positive by looking at the prospective organizations which I could be employed at. At first, things were really looking very positive. There were many headhunters and prospective employers who were interested in my profile, of which a few came very close. I remember that in one of the roles, I was recommended by the regional safety manager, the project manager, as well as the CEO himself, and that there was no way that I would not at least get to the next round of the interview but I was turned down in the first round. There was another one that I was down to the final interview, and that was the one which I was willing to accept up to 40% of a uh, pay reduction. But that fell through the cracks as well. These two were amongst many of, uh, of the disappointments, so close and yet so distant. Throughout this period, the Lord has been kind in a way that my family was well provided for. I was able to spend a lot of time with my family, especially my two sons. I remember the initial breaking of the news of the retrenchment, uh, how Justice actually told me the next day that, you know, Daddy, I had a dream. And the dream was uh, we were at a food court and uh, I tried to order some Oloa. And uh, Daddy, you were telling me, uh, don't order Oloa because it's more expensive. Just order Chai Tao Kui. Um, so that was uh, justice. And from Jairus, I had a feedback as well that I 
the uh, episodes of uh, headaches have really reduced drastically. So despite all this um, that the Lord has actually provided, I have to tell you, within me, the internal conversations of self-worth were real. The roller coaster ride continued. Came late October, and after six to seven disappointments, I got a call from the senior project director from my ex-company who asked if I found a job, and if not, whether I would be happy to work for him for six months. I went down to the project site, and the six months, the six months work that he talked about turned out to be a year. I was told to set up my own company so I could consult them externally. That wasn't smooth selling as well due to the COVID situation. There was an initial rejection by BCA, and I even had to go to see the MP, yeah? the, the thing that you, know, you go to every Monday. So after the back and forth for one and a half months to resolve some of these red tape issues, I finally started consulting on 1st of December. Throughout the almost six months audio, there have been so many things to thank the Lord for. And in particular, I'd like to thank the Lord for my wife and for my children who have been journeying with me all this while, being very supportive. For Pastor Joshua, who have been praying and analyzing with me the situation. For the team of brethren from Hope Counseling, Job Support, who helped in my CV and other very practical aspects of job search. For the brothers, whom I've been speaking with over the phone and who have been real-time prayer warriors. For the, uh, for the PPCC Cycling Khakis, that's uh, really keeping me sane. Uh, for the Peace Care Group, who have been uh, very encouraging and praying for me. And finally, for the career coach and many interview opportunities. The list goes on. Today, I have my own little firm that I run, which I've been profitable for the last four weeks. However, there are still many question marks that are floating in my mind. The questions such as, what's going to happen after the 12 months? What if I become too efficient and I complete my work in six months? What if, what if, what if? And this situation reminds me to continue to trust in the Lord. And I remember the hymn, the lyrics go, that goes this way. Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand, but I know who holds tomorrow and I know who holds my hand. I covered your prayers, and if there be any glory, it has everything to do with him and nothing to do with me.